everyone, welcome to your 7th QB64 tutorial, and in this tutorial, we will be writing a calculator program with our newfound knowledge from the previous tutorials. And first things first, we want to declare some variables, so we're going to declare um, OP for operation as, oh, never, sorry, Oper OP as string. Keep in mind, OP stands for operation, and we're going to have two numbers that the, that the user is going to enter. So we're going to dim x as integer and dim y as integer. Ah. Move my mouse out the way. Now, first things first, we want a computer to ask the user what operation they want to use, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we'll input choose, uh, not chose, choose and not and operation okay and we're gonna have OP save that operation because OP is a string and then we're gonna input uh, first not fir first there we go first number and that's gonna be saved as X input second number I cannot type today which will be y and then we're gonna have some if statements first we're gonna have to have the computer identify which operation it's using so if op and we're gonna have it go for addition so if op equals oh well, my computer's running a little slow there addition then we're gonna have these two numbers that the user that the user is going to enter x and y and we're going to add them together so print x plus y and that's it then we're going to do an else if for other operations else if equal uh, op equals subtraction then we're going to print x minus y after all this subtraction and so just to let you know what's going on if op equals addition if the user inputs a addition then it's going to take these two numbers that he entered in and it's going to add them together then we're going to do the same for multiplication and division else if op equals m i'm not going to have it capitalized multiplication there we go multiplication then print x times y keep money gotta use an asterisk and then finally else if op equals division remember to put those quotation marks division then use a slash to separate these x divided by use a slash y and that's it and if if we go ahead and actually now i'll do quick go through what's going to happen dim x as integer dim y as integer here I'm going to go all the way to the top okay op is our string and whatever the, whatever operation the user chooses it's, it's going to be saved into op and then it's going to prompt the user to enter in two numbers the first number will be saved into x and the second number will be saved into y and then we have this nice if statement if op the operation that the that the user chose equals addition then it's going to add x and y subtraction subtract x and y and so on so if we run our program okay choose an operation let's do addition first number five second number seven and five plus seven equals twelve let's do the same for subtraction I'm just going to test each one out subtraction first number 66 44 22 because 66 minus 44 equals 22 then we'll test it for here put it right here multiplication multiply here get mouse out the way so I can see what I'm doing multiplication uh, first number 55 4 and 55 times 4 equals 220. And last but not least, we'll test for division. 
division uh, 55 5 55 divided by 5 equals 11 now one problem that we have with this program is that when we run the program and say we put something invalid let's put uh, let's go to the Taco Bell guys first number five first number six and then it doesn't really do anything and so that's one error that we have because we do not have any if statements to um tell what the computer what tell the computer what to do if we have an invalid statement so we're just going to put a little else statement right here so else print invalid operation if I can type today gosh okay so in that case it's going to ch the computer is going to check if it equals addition subtraction multiplication or division and if it doesn't equal any of those four operations then it's going to print invalid operation because if it's anything else keyword else it will print invalid operation and so we run our program and we type in Pizza Hut first number five second number seven invalid operation and so that's a good error catcher right there and that's pretty much it for our calculator it's a very simple program but now you can say that you programmed your very own calculator and you can add all kinds of operations as well like um, we can give another if statement else if op equals uh... let's do exponents you know like um six to the fourth power and stuff like that Ooh, gotta remember for that then very important and so if anyone's familiar like two to the third power is eight stuff like that because it's two times two times two if it's exponents then print x and then use the caret key right above the six to the y power and so we can go ahead and do that exponents I think that I spelled that correctly so we're just gonna do 3 to the fourth power and that's 81 and you can add anything you want you can add percents and really any operation that you please this is our very first calculator and it looks pretty good doesn't it now one last review of what's going on I'm gonna go ahead and run the program alright choose an operation operation that we choose like addition, it's going to sa be saved in the op variable. And so now that we have op equals addition, we're going to enter in our first number, which will be x. And so if we enter in 6, x now equals 6. And if we enter in our second number, which is y, if we put in 199, then y will equal 199. And so when we hit enter, the function was x plus 100 x plus y and x equals 6 so 6 plus y and y equals 199 so 6 plus 199 which is 205 and that's the output and so this is our tutorial our i mean our calculator for this tutorial and i hope this helped you in any capacity feel free to copy this code i might even put the code down in the description and feel free to do whatever you want with it so now you can say you wrote your very own calculator, and you can save this and use it whenever you please. And so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was beneficial to you in any capacity. And tune in next tutorial, because we'll be learning some more awesome stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Zachary, and I bid you farewell.